Uh, welcome to RAW Online. As many of us know that this uh, components of the anesthesia workstation is divided into three components as high pressure, intermediate and a low pressure system. It is based on the fact that there is pressure received by each of these components. And this low pressure system, it includes components mainly just downstream to your flow control valves. And the pressure in this section will be between 14 to 26 PSIG. And this is based on the flow from the flow control valves and the presence of the back pressure devices like check valves and the back pressure from the machining. So the components included in this system will be flow meters, the hypoxia prevention safety devices, the vaporizers and its mounting devices, the check valve, the pressure relief device and the common gas outlet. And the, as I said, like the pressure in the system is slightly above atmospheric. And this flow meter assembly, it mainly consists of the flow meter tubes. You can see the flow meter tubes over here. So this is for the oxygen and this is for the nitrous, the two things are for nitrous oxide and this is for the air. And the, we can see an indicator inside the flow meter tubes and there will be a stop on the top of the tube. And you can see the scales marked in liters per minute as 1 up to 10 or it can be even up to 15 liters per minute. And this entire system is called as a flow meter assembly and this is protected by a plastic sheet and you have a color codings for each of the gas like for oxygen and it is white and nitrous oxide is for its blue and it is black and white for an air. This is for a, for a safety profile. And in the second slide you can see the cross section of a flow meter and where you can see the flow control valve which has a flow meter knob. You can see the valve stops, the two valve stops over here and this is a flow control needle and this is a valve seat. And this flow meter assembly is in the open steel where you can see the gas from the second stage gas regulator entering the flow meter that is a flow meter at the bottom and then it again enters into the flow meter tube and it tries to elevate the indicator and finally uh, it passes through the sides of the indicator and to the top of the tube and finally to the outlet of the tube. Suppose if this, if you are trying to close this knob, this flow control needle will come and approximate with the valve seat and it prevents the gas flow from the second stage regulator to enter into the flow meter tube. And the purpose of this valve stop will be to prevent the damage to the valve seat by the flow control needle when you try to rotate it clockwise too much and this valve stop will prevent the knob from getting disengaged from the system when you try to rotate it anti-clockwise too much. And this is a example for a mechanical flow meter. And you can see the flow meter tubes that pass in individu individual that is a flow meter this is a top tube which is a variable orifice flow meter that is it is internally tapered and uh, whose uh, diameter is very narrow at the bottom and it is wide at the top of the tube. That's, that's why it's called as a variable orifice flow meters and this is made up of a borosilicate material and the indicator will be either a bobbin or a float hmm, or a, even a ball uh, indicator which helps you to measure the rate of a gas flow. And you can see the stop on the top of the tube. Mainly the purpose of stop is to prevent the indicator from plugging to the outlet. Okay. So finally you have the scale which is helps you to measure the rate of gas flow. And if you have, uh, if you want to measure the gas flow is less than one liter, it be either in the decimal fractions of your liters per minute or even in case uh, you can have a ml per minute. And uh, there are two types of top tubes as single taper and a dual taper tubes. Suppose uh, if you want to uh, use a single uh, tube for a gas, they usually use a double taper tubes that is a dual taper tubes where it, the opening is gradual from up to two, 1 liters and it will be more uh, rapidly it opens up after 1 liter. Suppose if you want to use two tubes for a gas, then you can use a, a, a top tubes in series. You can see a, a top tube in series where the opening will gradually increase from the bottom to the top of the 